and welcome to our webinar series for first-time exhibitors. My name is Hannah Sharp. I'm the social media manager for Redwood Art Group, and I'm joined here today with Eric Smith, president and CEO of Redwood Art Group. We're going to start by introducing you to the basics of exhibiting. Take it away, Eric. The basics of exhibiting. Smile. <laughs> uh, you should know that we're all here to help. Uh, everybody in our organization has been doing this for well over 10 years, and we're quite experienced on producing shows and helping exhib exhibitors. Your experience is very important to us. Uh, you've taken the first step by reserving your booth, uh, and you probably have by this time your exhibitor manual for Art San Diego. So we're gonna start with move in, and then we're gonna go into some booth etiquette and some other things you can do to prepare for the show. So move in is pretty easy. Uh, bring a hammer, some hooks, nails, a step stool, if you can. Uh, and, you know, we provide the walls, the truss, the lighting, a stool to sit on, all of that kind of stuff. Table and chairs if you're in a bigger booth. All of this is in your exhibitor manual. I would take some time, pour a glass of wine, sit down by the fire as the fall season starts to connect here and uh, peruse through the exhibitor manual mark it up, see if you have any questions, print it if you want, do it online, whatever you'd like to do. Um, but it's important to go through there. Uh, parking is pretty simple at the convention center. You can pull right up in the back and we can help you. We'll have people there to help you unload your vans, personal vehicles, uh, or if you shipped by crate, your booth, your, uh, your, your crate will be in your booth. Most importantly, we have hanging guidelines. For a solo booth, you can hang six 40 by 40 pieces in a four by 10 booth. If you need help, come find me or Jeff or Linda or Kelly or Hannah, uh, and uh, we can give you some direction on uh, hanging. Once you get your booth hung, put up your price tags. Uh, and have business cards and any marketing material that you can bring, okay? Next thing, don't be nervous. There's going to be somebody next to you on either side. They're your neighbors. Get to know them because when you want to take a bathroom break or you want to go have a cup of coffee, uh, you can go do that and they can watch your booth for you. Booth etiquette is important. No loud music. Um, you know, be amenable to those people around you. They are all there to do business and um, you're all there for the same purpose, uh, to sell art or to make contacts, to expose your art, display your art, that type of thing. So help each other. So pre-show expectations, okay? Do not have high expectations. You, This is the first time that you're probably showing in San Diego. Nobody knows you. They don't know your artwork. They only will know your artwork if you do pre-show marketing, social media posts, which Hannah can help you with. Um, if you invite people, your friends, family, neighbors, uh, if you have a mailing list, you want to invite everybody on your mailing list, the easiest place to sell a piece of art is to, easiest person to sell a piece of art to is somebody you've already sold a piece of art to. So invite all those collectors that you already have. They can have free tickets to the show. So social media, marketing, all of that is very important prior to the show. If you don't have any of those things done and it's your first time showing and nobody knows your work, you're gonna have to create that six degrees of separation and you're gonna have to get to know people, right? So you're gonna have to ask them open-ended questions. What colors are in your house? Have you purchased art before? Have you been to Art San Diego before? All with question marks at the end. So you can start a conversation and get to know those people um, and, uh, and then get them interested in your art. They don't really need to know how you painted it. They don't really care if it's mixed media or if it's painted with acrylic or any. Really, it's about the story and the experience that they want to enjoy. Think about pieces that you have in your house. And when you have a, a cocktail party or you have a dinner party, 
the people come over, you don't talk about the paper that it's printed on or anything like that. What you talk about is if you purchased a piece, where you were at the time, uh, if you were traveling, uh, that type of thing. And that's what people are looking for, experiences. So think about stories that you want to relate about each piece of your work. Why did you paint it? Is there an emotion behind it? Something happened in your life, that type of thing. So start preparing for those type of things. During the show, stand up as much as possible. Do not eat in your booth. Again, get to know your neighbors and have a guest book so people can sign it and you can capture their email and you can start a, uh, so you can market to them after the show. Really, really, really important. You've got, in the trade show business, you've got six seconds as somebody walks by to capture their attention. And then you've got a couple, you've got three days of show uh, that we're providing to you. And you've got to find enough connections during those three days so you can follow up and make sales after the show. It's not often that people walk in and just buy something right away. It happens. It happens in every one of our shows. I don't deny that. I ran 20 art galleries. I had 105 people. It wasn't off. What we called it was a coconut. A coconut fell off the tree and hit you in the head. It was a coconut, right? That's when somebody walks in, buys a piece of art and walks out with it. And you're looking at, you know, in those days you were working on commission and you look at your your friend and your co-patriot in the store, your, 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 your art consultant friend and go, oh my God, what a great coconut, you know? So um, that doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. If you're a good conversationalist and you can cut through the six degrees of separation, you can make sales at the show. But follow-up is important. And in order to follow up, you've got to capture emails and phone numbers. So think about that. Uh, the show office is always open all hours of the show. If you need a break or you need a treat or you need a tangerine, we have them at every show. <laughs> you can run over there and get something, some coffee, that type of things. Um, and other than that, it is it's a long time to be on your feet and be talking to people. So get your rest. Don't go out partying at night. Try to get some exercise in the morning. Sleep well uh, and be prepared for it because you've invested a lot. You know, our booths started $2,000 or so and go up from there. You've made a substantial investment in your career and in yourself. And ask a lot of questions when you're there. Come get me, you know, find me. Say, what do you think of my work? Can I hang in any other way? You know, I mean, take advantage of the three days that you have to get experience. I'm going to tell you one quick story, and then I'm going to sign off because this is a quick video just to get you prepared. And you can you can email me and ask me questions. Hannah will give you my email at the end. We just did a show in Santa Fe, and we did a class with 15 people uh, that ran about eight hours in total. And there was one lady that really struck me. Her name is Ruth Andre. You can look her up and you could see her work. Uh, she participated in Art Santa Fe and she and her husband took to heart everything that we said during this class. And she sold 10 pieces during the fair. I could not have been happier for her. She could not have been happier. She still... Months later, here she is still, I sold some more work. I followed up with some more people. It works, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint selling art. And uh, you've got to have that mentality when you go into San Diego. If you get 10 connections and sell one piece of art, that's a huge success. So keep that in mind as you go along and you're starting your art career because you're all first time exhibitors, all right? Hannah, take it away. Yeah, if you have any further questions, you can email Eric at eric at redwoodartgroup.com or hannah at redwoodartgroup.com and stay tuned for part two and we'll talk all about marketing and social media. See you in San Diego. Bye.